Apparently. But as far as like AW and injuries, well, we got to talk about Sammy Guevara, who has been suspended. Not injured. Well, Jeff Hardy was injured. Jeff Hardy was injured. And that's in part why he was suspended. So we're going to talk about that after the break and plenty more. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Well, now we got to talk about Sammy. Here's the deal. So they had that Sammy Guevara match with Jeff Hardy. And uh, Sammy did the shooting star press and hit Jeff in the head with his knee. And yesterday we learned that he has been suspended. I heard that and I was like, what? So the story which has uh, been confirmed that this is what happened, is that when he did the shooting star press and he landed on Jeff's head, yes, they were upset about that, okay? And, you know, there's there's even some people that said that played part, that pay, played into it, but, dude, accidents happen all the time. All the time. If we're going to start suspending people for accidents in matches, I don't know what we're doing here. But... He didn't do it on purpose. So then, the crux of this is after it was determined that Jeff was hurt, Sammy was allegedly told to either pin him, go home, whatever the term was. I don't know the exact term. And they kept going. And so, Sammy was suspended. So, here's the thing. Sammy was told, like, let's say he landed on the guy's head, and the doctor or the referee got word from the back, and the word was, pin him right now. And Sammy didn't pin him. Okay, well, he should he should probably be suspended. He was told to do something he didn't. However, however, is the ref suspended? Is the doctor suspended? If, if a guy gets hurt in a match, is it not the referee's job to stop the match? Is it not the doctor's job to stop the match? If you want to suspend Sammy because they kept going, fine. But you also need to suspend the referee who didn't just stop it, wave it off. The doctor who didn't just stop it, wave it off. And nobody can answer the question as to why the referee and the doctor are apparently fine, even though the word from back was, end the match. So, I don't know what's going on. And, you know, in the past, I'm talking way back, and not even way back, but like, in the past, you know, injuries would happen in matches. And the wrestlers just wanted to keep going. And there was a time when they were just allowed to keep going if they wanted to. And there was a a very famous incident where Daniel Bryan, when he was Daniel Bryan in WWE, he got hurt in a match and Triple H demanded the thing be stopped. And Bryan was so mad about it that him and Hunter almost got into a fight backstage over it. Bryan did not want the match to end. So the thing is... Well, where are we now? Are are we are we in 2024, or are we going to be in 2000? Well, a decision needs to be made about what's going on. If we're going to be in 2024, where if someone is legitimately hurt, the match needs to be stopped. Then the referee, the doctor, like get in there and stop it. The onus should not be on the wrestlers. It should be on the people whose job is to. Right? Am I wrong here? Last time I checked, timekeepers wear earpieces, correct? Well, the referee? He's referee got an earpiece on. Ear the doctor's in. right there. Doctor's got an earpiece in, and okay, so let's say they told Darby to go home, or told Sammy to go home, just lay on him and let that be that, and he decided to plow through what the referee and the doctor were saying, and I'm going to finish this thing anyway, then why didn't the bell just ring? Why didn't the referee try to, like, physically pull? I I just, there is something here. I don't know if there's more to this story. It feels like there should be more to this story. Uh, You know, it doesn't have to be, 
you know, negative or in the shadows or anything, but there seems to be some sort of breakdown in communication here where, like you mentioned, Sammy is suspended, yet the referee and the timekeeper are not. And again, why did you just not ring the bell? Because I believe that's what happened in the Daniel Bryan match, and I know we've seen this in other matches where they will just go ahead and ring the bell. It's over. Stop it. <laughs> you know? I, I Obviously, there's a real communication error somewhere here. Well, you know, people are asking there must be more, there must be more, there must be more. Maybe, maybe Well, maybe there was more, but you know, you know what? Know. Yeah, there may be more, but you know what? The the the, the story about him t- being told to take it home, stop, pin, whatever. Okay, that has been confirmed. So, but the question still remains, if a guy got hurt bad enough that they say take it home immediately, why didn't the referee stop it? Why didn't the doctor stop it? Well, that's the, whole that's thing. the why question. Say, Forget why the suspension. It Forget don't it. Say, don't say, well, maybe they should stop saying take it home from the back and just well, say. I don't know the words. That's what I'm saying. I don't know the words. But, uh, but here's the thing. They may here, have said here, pin him now, and he well, kept going. If they said about, take it home, well, what do you expect the guy to do? You're going to go here's home. The thing. Here's the three words. All the three, only three words you need here are ring the bell. Then get away from them. Don't move them. Help them up whatever then worry about that then but like the only three words it sounds like you need brian are coming from the back when they say ring the bell or the doctor says ring the bell so anyway that's the update and i don't know anything other than that but a lot of questions being asked and you know you know what the most important thing is What's that? hopefully this leads to like a solution to this problem a a okay here's how it's going to be whatever happened happened but here's how it's going to be from now on. Somebody gets hurt, stop it. Referee, stop it. Doctor, stop it. That's it. The onus now, should never be on the wrestlers. Now, let me ask you a question. Is Sammy Guevara suspended right now? Did they yes. need a process? Because he wrestled at least one time yes, after he did. that match. So there's another deal here, unless I guess you have an automatic... I'd like to fight this suspension that you laid down or something like that. I mean, I don't know if that'll end up coming out, but that's interesting in the fact that he's suspended now as opposed to immediately afterward. Why did he go ahead and wrestle then? What was the delay in letting this happen? It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, during a well, actually, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know any. I don't know any circumstances, but you know, sometimes. I will say that sometimes when they have disciplinary things, like, you know what Tony Khan likes to do is investigations. And uh, sometimes when something happens, it's like, okay, this happened, you know, considering suspending Sammy, I want you to talk to various parties, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, the the punishment finally comes down. So I presume that's what happened is, you know. Should it take that long in a case that would be pretty clear cut here? If, you know, even with a, I, I don't know, even with some sort of way where he can respond You realize Jack to Perry it. isn't even back yet? But is, <laughs> like, is that by That happened in at Wembley. But is that a storyline thing? No, he was actually suspended. No, and fool. Why he's still out now? Is it a storyline thing? I, I presume, uh, listen, hey, you know what? I presume so, but I don't yeah. know, and nobody else knows either. Well. <laughs> like... They don't know what's going on Maybe because a- nobody is told anything, and and even <laughs> even Jerry Lynn like there there was a thing the other day where somebody I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't remember the whole thing but like people were asking you know why don't why don't the wrestlers get told more about what's going on and Jerry Lynn was well we don't want word getting out about what's going to happen so we just don't tell them anything like this is a thing okay a lot of people have absolutely no idea what's going on i can tell you for a fact there's people at the building today who have no idea what's going on they don't know if they're on the show they don't know if they're working they're waiting they're waiting to find out what's going on and and that's how it is and the funny thing is you know what's funny is i talk to people there all the time and and back when people actually were told what was going on nobody told me Nobody ever told me, like, what was going on. Like, you know, I'm, I'm going to beat so-and-so at the pay-per-view or whatever. Like, you know, they would tell me non-spoiler-related stuff. Like, all of the spoiler stuff that I talked about on the show, all the predictions and everything, that was just because Tony logically booked. It wasn't because someone told me 
that such and such was going to win a match. No idea whatsoever. No one ever told me anything. No one ever told me pay-per-view finishes, match finishes, nothing. And I, I don't know if maybe, you know, so many predictions were right that they just figured, well, the wrestlers must be talking about it, so we just won't tell them anything anymore. But that's not what happened. And uh, it's just weird. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.